All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this in the future. We are going to be playing Naya Value again. This is, of course, one of my favorite decks. And we're trying out a new spicy one with a couple Beast Whispers. We're going to try this here. Um, it's kind of replacing one of our Path of Discoveries and like a third Aurelia. Um, I think this is a pretty interesting card that, that could uh, really uh, increase the value they were getting from our deck. It's a creature, so we can find it with the Vivian tick up. It's a two power creature, so we can find it with Militia Bugler as well. So this will be pretty interesting to try this out. If we can just have this on the battlefield and then cast uh, some creatures, uh, you know, we're going to be drawing cards each time. So it's a card that's going to have a direct bullet on its head for sure, um, or target, I guess is the, the phrase there, a target on its head for sure from our opponent. Um, but we'll see how it works out. Um, all right, let's, let's go ahead and get started. Naya value. <laughs> Pasta in the sideboard pizza main deck now for now. For pasta or pizza. Yeah. Man, pizza is so good. Love me some pizza. Alright, play first. Lucky. We get to play first. Our hand's good. Our mana's good. Everything's looking good. Yeah, so we have... Yep. Our, yep, the white is bread. The red is the sauce, and pepperoni, and the green are our veggies. Getting some spinach on there, some green peppers. Oh, I love veggies. Veggies are great. I like throwing everything on it. I like, yeah, I just like, you know, like pizza, burgers, all that kind of stuff. Sandwiches, I like when you just put all the toppings on there. They're all delicious. Oh, definitely pineapple. Pineapple is delicious. Yeah. I like I like pineapple and pepperoni. I think those two, besides the alliteration, they go well together. Um like with their acidic values. It's a good combo. And besides that, besides that combination, another go-to combination I really like are mushrooms and green peppers. Like mushroom and green pepper work real well together. Um, I'm going to go ahead and library this. I feel like we may be facing some drakes where I'm going to want to have a coil. Yeah, chicken barbecue. Certainly like the chicken barbecue pizza. Absolutely. That's a good one, too. Marinara sauce is just like maybe my favorite sauce of all time. Honestly, marinara sauce is just amazing. Um, all right, and I think I actually just minus. Yeah, I'm gonna just minus this Ajani and get back the Branch Walker. Do not fear. Um, Return to the fight. But yeah, like just cheese bread dipping in marinara, I could do that all day. Um, but the thing is, is when I'm like get like cheese bread and I'm dipping it in marinara, I'm using a ton of marinara. I always have to like ask him for like two extra sides of marinara, basically. Pouty says, I edited your Boros metal deck just a little bit and have 60% win rate and best of ones. Nice. You going heroic reinforcements there? Yep, okay, got a couple of heroic reinforcements in there. Nice. Way to go. You're playing a moment of triumph over an integrity? That's kind of surprising. Moment Triumph does gain you two life, but you can't cast it with a red source, and it doesn't also have Intervention, which deals three and gain three. 
That's a pretty surprising one of over over that. Um, all right, so our opponent certainly wants to dive down, right? Maybe I should just play Tristani and then tick up on a Johnny. Or they're trying to bluff a dive down. I mean, it's not like the lava coil gets better, per se. Let me go ahead and do this. Because if they want, if they want to block and keep their Enigma Drake alive, they're going to have to use that dive down now. So they'll, they'll still have to use that dive down if they want to block. Okay, got there. All right, so we got three bindings. Binding's great in this matchup. It's glad we have a third one in there. And we're bringing in Vivia, and that's all of our sideboarding here. Um, as far as cards to take out, I could see taking out Beast Whisperer. Don't have a lot of things to take out. I think a Johnny's kind of weak against the Drakes that can attack it and pressure it. But it, Johnny is good at like putting counters on these other things, though, so they can fight Drakes. Maybe it's just Militia Bugler. Bugler doesn't like match up at all. Maybe I just cut Bugler. Like, what if we just cut Bugler? That's probably too many fours. All right, trim one of Johnny, trim one Beast Whisperer, and two Buglers. Um, there may be. I know Judith. So the question is, are there any new RNA cards that sound out, stand out for your historic deck? I know Judith is a is a good creature that is legendary. Um. There may be some other ones. I'm not exactly sure. Yes, Swiss Autumn Knight can fight a Drake being a 4-3. But I, I don't know if that means I want to play it. Just 3 mana 4-3 without an ETB effect or anything. Yeah, unfortunately there's not there's not many good legendaries. I was really hoping there was more. But I guess that's the problem with Brawl not being a format. They don't need to worry about printing legendary creatures. It's just like me over here that wants to play legendary the legendary sorceries. They're not helping me out. Yeah, Black itself doesn't have a lot of great cards, but Rakdos has good cards if you want to go like Red Black. Like, Rakdos has um, both Judith and Theor Theater of Horrors, which I think are two of the very best cards in the set. <laughs> yeah, oh, Zerf. All right, Zerf wants to play Legendaries too. All right, so it's not just me. Not just me. Hmm. Gonna go ahead and get the other Wild Growth Walker and play. I think we're gonna have time and like just the gaining extra three life could be real nice. We'll see what our opponent does. All right, just a bunch of nothing. I think I just play Branch Walker. Don't think I just binding here. And might as well go Branch Walker first because if we hit Temple Garden, 
Um, you know, another shock land. Beast Whisper. Do I want to play that next turn? Nah. Is there a reason not to attack? Not really. I'm gonna do like opt and shock. They have opt plus shock. That kills a wild growth walker. Or yeah, just a single lightning strike would also. But they could have they would have like if they had lightning strike, they would have just killed it, you know, in response to the branch walker, right? Like in response to like the triggers. With that, they would have just killed it there if they had lightning strike. My lesson. Well, yeah, discovery. Discovery is a sorcery, not an instant. So yeah, they couldn't couldn't do that either. So yeah, so we'll see. Yeah. So it looks really good for us. Looks like our opponents are stuck on lands, and they give up. All right, nigh value. Starting off strong. We had a couple good openers there. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. We didn't play the binding or <laughs> Vixie or Vivian into the uh, spell pierce for there, right? That worked out well for us. Yeah, that could have been bad. <laughs> yeah, Discovery's instant. Ah. So what decks, um, for the next, so we got two more days that we're streaming here. Uh, before then, six, I'm taking the 16th off, and then, then you know, we have our long stream on the 17th. So for those two days, what decks do you all want to make sure that I get to? Like, what decks do you want to see? You know, so that's two days. That's eight eight decks. Um, so, yeah, like, what, what deck do you really want me to play uh, before... Yeah, Jeskai Legends. Do I have any decks with Tezzeret? I have a Bant Legends deck that has Tezzeret. Boros Aggro. Okay, so yeah, Bant Legends. And Rakdos Midrange. Orzhov Knights, Hadana's Climb. Those are certainly two that I was thinking of, too. So I think... I think we're going to have Orzov for one, Hadana for another, Rakdos Midrange for another, uh, Jeskai Legends, Bant Legends, Naya Legends. So that's six. Probably Grixis Legends, because that deck's cool too. So that's seven. Um... I have to play the cliff top retreat here to like be able to have it come into play. Like, you know, it's gonna come into play tapped. Uh, and then my option is either Daredevil or Coil. And I think it's probably just better to use my mana to Daredevil. Uh, I don't know exactly what deck has the best record. I haven't really kept up with um, with that as much. So that's seven. That would leave us like one more, like maybe a Demir quasi sacrifice. Um, Um, 
Alright, we'll just pass turn. This branch walker is probably going to have to be doing some chumping here. If they just attack out. I think my block is Aurelia on Luxodon and Branch Walker on Vanguard. Yeah, that's my that's my block. They they attack out. All right. Well, now it's just Branch Walker on Vanguard. We take nine. Go to eight. Help me out, Tristani. Yeah, Alexa, I'm real strong. Oh no. I think our opponent's got us here. It seems like this is going to be a tough matchup for us. So I need Knight of Autumns. Uh, Clarions. Mm. Other Vivian, just to destroy enchantments and everything. I don't know. Daredevil's out. I don't know if I can have four Vivians in this matchup. One of Johnny's out. Beast Whisperer is probably just going to be too slow. I'll go ahead and take that out. I can go down to like two coils. Coil is great against. I mean, Coil is good against like the elephant and against Tristani, but I don't really want Coil other places. You know, I'm going to have Clarion also. Could have binding for tribunal. Star. Star is a possibility. Yeah, I wish I had more Knight of Autumns. In particular. I don't hate Star. I think I want binding though. I'm just gonna play bindings and not coils. Yeah. I like binding more. Okay, yeah, I like this. Yeah, Star just costs a whole lot of mana. And it doesn't stop like an end step march to the multitudes kind of thing. Uh I'm saying it's slow. Yeah. Right. Uh Adanto Vanguard is a good replacement for Direfully Daredevil for this deck. If you you know you don't have the Daredevils. I'd go with Adanto Vanguard. So I think it's just important that we try to get that land, which is why I play the Branch Walker instead of the Wild Growth Walker there. Um. Hmm. Branch Walker is another card that will die to Clarion, but this will make Wild Growth Walker now not die to Clarion. And it, you know, like, we're going to have, our opponent's going to have to just keep putting more things on onto the battlefield here. Yeah, all the teams with buys have looked good. So many people were, like, picking, you know, like, the row teams that played last week um, to do to do real good this week. But 
just kind of shows you how important having a buy is. And uh, and people have just kind of forgotten about how good those other teams are. Looks like our opponent has Conclave Tribunal that they are considering playing on the Wild Growth Walker here. Which I wouldn't mind. I don't want them to Tribunal the... I don't want them to Tribunal the Vivian. Yeah, definitely rooting for Casey over New England. Oh, they had Baffling End. No. Well, they, so they also have Tribunal. Or, sorry. Yeah, they definitely also have Tribunal. That's bad for me. Yeah, that's bad for me. Alright, I love binding. Because even if they tribunal Vivian, then we get to like we play Vivian, they tribunal Vivian, we binding their tribunal. So they don't get to do that anymore. I didn't live through hell. You can't stop nature. So March gets three tokens here. Hey, Big Papa Jack. Yeah. New England and the Colts have had a, a big rivalry, especially going back to Peyton and Brady. Um, yeah, it's, it seems like that's kind of New England and the rest of the AFC. <laughs> Balance comes. So I did okay. Um. If I, if I use the, basically using the, the Vivian to minus for the, basically using the Vivian to minus to destroy the Baffling End, I just don't think matters too much. I don't think the, the Baffling End matters that much. Um, you know, like we only get a 3-3 and I think just ticking up and having Vivian work towards the, the ultimate is... A better thing for us. Is this the last deck I'm playing? Yeah, it'll be the last deck of the night. Uh, but hopefully, you know, hopefully we still have a, a good amount of time left in the league. Yeah, but I'm still not feeling the the absolute best. I took yesterday off, and meet my newest friend. Don't think I want to do another league after this one for tonight. Right, I forgot. Our opponent's about to march. All right, so hmm. Oh, I should I should have shocked. I was just gonna play binding, but now I realize that yeah, binding's probably not my best play. 
Because I binding Tristani, they they tribunal and get their Tristani back. Hmm. I guess they may not be marching. They just put a Temple Garden in tapped. I should have shocked. Played Branch Walker also. Or even just play Tristani there. They're going to have to do something about this Vivian, though. Vivian's about to ultimate. Yeah, no, they have March. They just didn't want to shock for an extra 2 2. Knight of Autumn is the better card than Branch Walker. I was kind of thinking we didn't really need to show them Knight of Autumn. But maybe that was just silly on my part. Yeah, I sh should have shocked and played Tristani. Or Jade Light plus Branch Walker. New set drops on Arena on the 17th. Yep, and now our Vivian's dead. I played that last turn pretty bad. I'm not losing. I'll play that. Yeah, I just yeah. played that last turn just pretty bad. All right, so we have seven mana, which means that we're Branch Walker plus something else. Can't double spell with anything else, so might as well just start with Branch Walker. I just played that last turn horrible. It's okay though. We're still quite a far quite a ways ahead. Um if their last card is yet another march of the multitudes though, we could certainly be in trouble. All right, let's go double binding. I was, I was, as you can tell, I was not playing around Settle the Wreckage. <laughs> they just passed turn very quickly. Got settle. Nope, no settle. I think our our opponent was just kind of checking us to see how we would attack there. 
um, going into the third game. Maybe I do want Star of Extinction. Nah. All right, going to game three. Let's see if we can move this to be two and zero. Oh. Stars for Golgari. That's why it's in the sideboard. Honestly, I think it may just be kind of too slow against uh, Tokens. Tokens is a lot faster than Golgari, in my opinion. Thanks, Mr. Nobody. So we'll see if we can get this, pick up this game three on the draw. It'll be kind of tough because we're on the draw. So... We'll see. All right. All right, and the Grixis discard is ready for YouTube, so I'm Filling that out, getting that ready to go. Uh, yeah, it's kind of the same kind of thing we had last time. Got the branch walker, help us get our lands. Perfect draw. Perfect draw. Now we got plenty of lands. I've been playing Guildgate taking turns on Cockatrice. It's a hell of a lot of fun. Wait, what's what's Guildgate taking turns? Keep second Vivian? I think so. Alright, so we'll have this Clarion set up. I don't really want to put more onto the battlefield. Of course, because the Clarion. Alright, so do I just Clarion now? I guess so. So I Clarion now, they play Tristani, and then what? I hope they don't play Tristani. Ugh. Yeah, they had Tristani. Wild Growth Walker is a good draw here to be able to pair with Militia Bugler. We'll get our own Tristani. I should just play Bugler first though, because if I if I hit Wild Growth Walker with it, I'll just play the you know the Wild Growth Walker I'd hit with it. Okay. So I guess we're playing Tristani next turn.
could play like if I play Vivian minus kill the J Light Ranger, they like attack Vivian and let and I let Vivian die, just fine. But I think it's better just to probably pl probably play this. Yeah, Carnage Siren's pretty big, especially with Tristani. I can trade Bugler plus the two tokens for Carnage Tyrant, though. That'd be a good trade for me. Looks like they have a Tribunal. What are they taking? Tristani? Okay. Well, I'll just play Vivian and get get a new Tristani. That's, that's honestly perfectly fine for me. I love this attack also. Yeah, so we're doing great. Our opponent taking Tristani like that whenever we... Like, they know about this Vivian. Us getting two extra tokens is just so really nice for us. Sometimes restoration means retribution. And our opponent just sacrificing their token for no value. Also very good for us. Ugh. That's a good draw for them, though. Our kinship Me actually killing this Ajani could be tough. See in yeah, that's a, that's a great draw for them. I see in you. Yeah, we're going to have to get a binding. Which, unfortunately, Vivian cannot find binding. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Ah, oh, there's two bindings. Down to the bottom. Yeah, we're going to need to shuffle, but we can't shuffle. So we know there's two bindings down there. Sure. Whatever. Yeah, that's... So, I, yeah, so I'm planning on going Vivian minus Destroy Conclave and then play new Vivian. And they're going to be able to ultimate their Johnny before we, we could ultimate Vivian. But if we ultimate Vivian... We don't, we don't just have like tons of spells in the deck. We have some though. Now we're getting started. Vivian's still just a messed this up card. Nothing. Like we've, Vivian has gotten a Tristani and a Jade Light Ranger for us, and ticked up and found whatever it ticked up and found. Still just a great card. Would so we have like six loyalty here. No one knows the wilds like I do. Oh yeah, Aurelia. Flying. Flying's good. See? Vivian can take up and find flying. So six. So next turn is seven. The turn after that, eight. And then... So if we go... So they go seven. Like, let's just say it's ultimate, ultimate. So they, they're at seven. We're at seven. They ultimate, we go to eight, they get to attack, we ultimate. So they say so they get they would on pace right now, they're on they're on pace for three other cat soldiers before Vivian would ultimate. Be strong. Yeah, Vivian was not highly rated when it was first spoiled at all. I actually had it really high on my top twenty list for M nineteen. Nobody was talking about it at all, but I actually had it up really high. I had it as my seventh card in M19, and even at the time, I kind of wanted it a little higher, but nobody, like, the other people I was talking to, people didn't like that I had Vivian so high. They thought it was just a, a bad Planeswalker, and it's, it's crazy how good it is. At the time, I was just saying that, that the minus uh, destroying artifact creatures, or sorry, artifacts, enchantments, or creatures with flying is exactly what Green wants to do. 
but people are focused on like Big Vraska, and they're like, well, this is worse than Big Vraska. It doesn't even kill all the creatures. Don't think there's a reason for me to tick up before combat. No, a the Johnny wilds ult. are my shield. And we about to have a big wild growth walker. Hey, Eddie. Just finished working, and now watching the stream. Well, welcome. I'll take this bugler. Do I still have a Beast Whisperer in my deck? No. Yeah, I took it out. I think I sideboarded him out. Look how far you have come. <clears throat> this looks like a pun that's given up. Yep, that's a pun that's given up. All right, two and oh. Two and O. Oh. Let's keep it going. <laughs> Three Vivians to work with ain't too shabby, that's true. We didn't even have to use the third. We just use the, fir the first and then the second. All right, this is a keep, but we don't have the red mana yet. But I still like what we got going on. Merfolk Branch Walker, besides a red source, would be a good draw step. Hmm. No, Merfolk Branch Walker, you're late. You would have been, you would have been good previously. Oh, I just played that Sun Petal Grove there. I should not have played that. I was like, we could have, we could have maybe like drawn Timber Gorge. I think originally I was planning on just playing Bugler, but so they can double block, and Wild Growth Walker just trades with the Branch Walker. They decide not to. Alright, so we saw one red source go to the bottom. It was Lava Coil, Red Source, Other Land. And they're stuck on lands too, and I can't punish them because I can't play my spells. Gosh, Jade Light, you're so good, but I'm putting you down to the bottom. Well, dang. So much for these lava coils.
Hmm. Get rid of that thing. Beast Whisperer? Nope. Whoa. Hold your horses there, team. Easy. <laughs> it's the Thor song, yep. So, they didn't play anything there. I feel like they have Vras's Contempt. So I'm playing Tristani here into Vras's Contempt instead of a Johnny. Kind of same with Aurelia. It certainly feels like Vras's Contempt. Yep. Was a was a Vras's contempt. Wow, me coiling that. Uh, it's like coiling the beast balance. Whatever it's called, beast. the Llanowarf didn't affect them at all on their green mana. They didn't have any green mana at the time, but their last two plays were forest forest. I like that contempt. Let me do, let me do that. Let me hit up that contempt. The problem is really the problem is going to be finality. If they have finality, um what that's going to be a problem. Would you ever try out Sc Seraph of Scales? Is that the new angel? If that's the new angel. Yeah, I'm sure I'm going to be playing that. Um, I, I'm not sure what deck I would play it in. Um, Sasquatch Daddy with the sub. That's sub number 10 on the day. That's our next goal. So that means I'm putting down another check. That's another pack we're going to buy of Ravnica Allegiance when it comes out on the 17th. We have gotten four packs now. We got two sub goals yesterday, two sub goals today. Um, yep. Finality is just a killer. <laughs> no, the, the Flash Angel is not giving me Night Terrors, no. Mm -hmm. I should have coiled this J Light Ranger also. I guess I can have one thing attack them. Because they block three things, then three things get through, and that's dead. Ah! Strike me, and you strike nature. Ah, I've seen squirrels hit harder. Actually, I don't hate it. We get to coil one of these wild growth walkers now. That's actually good for us. I like it. All right, no finality. So I'd assume they would just cast finality here. That's good for me. Let's. You do not have to fight alone. What they got for me a daredevil over there? Nothing. Heal. All right, we got an extra card. Yep, 
Yeah, if it, oh, yeah, if it was, wait, if it was power instead of CMC, yeah, for a Johnny, you could return chupacabras and buglers and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that'd be pretty great. Deliver us to victory. So I'm I'm working on I ticked up on the Bugler and the Wild Growth Walker because I'm working on trying to get those creatures to be able to survive a finality. Mind Broker for Vivian? Ugh. That's bad. Let's tear this place apart. Draw and fire. Don't know if we can win this now. You are capable of more than you assume. Okay. Let's kind of keep on working this, Ajani. Meet my newest friend. No. They get to they get to just attack my Johnny, and whenever I kill their things, they get to gain life and draw cards, or sorry, lose life and draw cards, and then they also have a moral to follow to get it back. Which is certainly a problem. Yeah, I have that cast. I have a daredevil. I already have a daredevil in the graveyard. So I think we need to cast down that the Midnight Reaper. I think we need to kill the Midnight Reaper. Yeah, you can run Profane Procession in Esper, absolutely. Profane Procession is a good card. They can of course just get they can just folly though and just get it back. Which is a huge problem. No, I don't have any settles. I don't really have a way to win this. Not too much. Not a very realistic way to win this. Okay, so they got rid of the Memorial to Folly. So that's good news number you one. Can't stop nature. And they did not take Midnight Reaper. That's that's definitely good news. I would have been, I I'm much more glad they took Daylight Ranger over Midnight Reaper. So now cast downing the, if we cast get, cast down the Midnight Reaper, they won't have it anymore. Man, Daylight just drawing them two cards. Yeah, they do not prioritize this Midnight Reaper, which they really should.
This is Naya value that we're playing right now. I could just cast down that wild growth walker, There's I suppose. More work to do. Thing is, eleven thirteen. Twenty eight cards left. I wanted to wonder if I can mill out my opponent. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Yeah, we're not winning this game. This is why I have a couple Star of Extinctions in the sideboard. They have 25 left. Ugh. Come on, we need a creature here. We really need a creature to go with this Beast Whisperer. 17th. Yourself, what I see in you. No one knows the wilds like I do. So yeah, that's all their branch walkers and all their jade lights. Like their last branch walkers in the graveyard. And that's probably all their midnight reapers also. Come on, deck. What? Need a creature. You can't stop nature. I have one more chupacabra somewhere. Yeah, if I play the Whisperer, they kill the, the Doom Whisperer. Or they kill the Beast Whisperer if I play it. They would have killed it with the Ch Chupacabra or that. I'm going to play Beast Whisperer and then play another creature to draw a card. Oh my gosh. But we just keep drawing land after land here. Balance comes. And they have a Vivian in play, and I don't. I would love to have a Vivian in play. Well, 
Guess we'll get back a wild growth walker. I understand you are in need of support. Back on your feet. Oh right. Strike me. You should see the look on your face. No, you're right. right I, you're right. I, I didn't realize their Vrasco was at eight. I missed that. But yeah, no, no. I, I definitely should have. I definitely could have attacked with with Daredevil. Have Daredevil die. A, a Johnny minus contempt the the Vraska. Yeah, no, you, you're right. That was that was definitely the play that I should have done. Um, because attacking with the Daredevil, they had to block. If I attack Vivian, they have to block it to be able to ultimate Vivian. And there's not any of their creatures. Or I guess, yeah, actually, not. That's not true because Daredevil is first strike, so they could they could just chump block the Daredevil so Daredevil doesn't die. You know, they could just block it with a Chupacabra, um, or a, a, a Branch Walker, or anything like that. They could have just single blocked it, but you know, so it wasn't guaranteed that the Daredevil was gonna die. But I could have tried. Not not spyglassing Vivian because I'm playing my own Vivians. I do want to binding their Vivian. Binding anything else isn't very good, but binding their Vivian is great. Do want to do that? Maybe I just save Daredevil for Daredevil. Maybe I just have Daredevil contempt though. Because other, yeah, I don't think I can bring him in. So I, I still got to cut five cards. Okay, so I'm getting rid of Aurelia because it's uh, it dies to Chupacabra and Vivian very easily. And getting rid of Tristani because of how bad it is against um, Finality. It's not too good there. And then getting rid of Beast Whisperer because I gotta cut cards. Um, I don't know what the, my first new standard deck will be. I'm sure it'll have to do with cards that I open up and cards that I can... So, a deck I can make with cards I open up. But yeah, so th those things were also kind of towards the top of the curve also. And I, I feel like we need to... We can't just like take out the bottom part of our curve. Um... I don't... Uh, with the current state of modern, do you think John Durrell Drazi variants would be better given the meta right now? I, I'm honestly not very familiar with the, the modern meta game right now. So I, I don't have a good answer for you. Alright. Where's our white mana? Those are not white mana sources. I do have I do I do have the ability to Daredevil cast down one of these if we feel like it. Um, certainly thought playing Jade Light here is, is a better option. I will choose him. All right, so I get to. Um, Daredevil, cast down, kill a walker, attack all out at Karn, and uh, 
Man, they have to they have to chump with their wild growth walker if they want Karn to stay alive. Okay, they're not doing it. Karn's dead. Please stop. Which Karn being dead is great because then now they can't get this Vraska. So that's great for us. Ah, uh, they get Karn back and that can get Vraska back. Tilt. Um, there's lots of cards I'm actually really excited about for the set. Um, yeah, Ravnica Allegiance looks really sweet. How do I even win against Golgari Finebroker Memorial to Folly? I have Lava Coils in my deck. I guess that's how I win. There are a lot of ways to pay life. Are you, are you certain of your decision? Some of the more common ones are... Danto Vanguard, Doom Whisper, Shocklands. Yeah, other not so common ways are, like y'all are saying, uh, Bloodfast, Under Elm Lich. Need this Vivian to do so much work for us. How convenient. I'm glad they're not. Choice. They're not getting Frasca back. So many memorial to follies. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Alright, so Fine Broker just gets Karn back. It is best if you no. Okay, I thought they were just gonna let Karn die and then Fine Broker back Karn. The time has come. No, they're going to get Relic Seeker. Also, not even Contempt for my Vivian. I should have waited turn to get out three Vivians. Like you. My crew is the finest in the seas. So, I'll, they attack with both. I'm going to double block one. Come to me. Fortunately, I can't find cards I really need, like Star of Extinction, stuff like that. Hmm. 
Hmm. I will tear you apart. Yeah, not much of a shot, though. Not much of a shot. Alright, Star of Extinction. We'll keep that one. Even if we starve extinction, they still have three the follies. Because I can't star a folly. So they still have three follies and a find broker. Well, now I can star a folly. I'll make use of that later. I'm really not taking Vras's Contempt. They they can hit Vivian right now, and I can't I can't stop them from hitting Vivian. Okay, so they're not gonna do it. The wilds are my shield. Do I star or pass turn? Yeah, we can't block all the menace creatures. Decisive action is needed. All right. Well, we got that contempt out of there. That's good for us. Make your captain proud. I'm not able to destroy the... Not able to destroy a folly, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven with two extra. Riptar Raptor in the deck. Um, not a big fan of Riptar Raptor in the deck because we can't, we cannot get a Riptar Raptor with. Um, with whatever it's called. With Militia Bugler. Sorry. Yeah, Militia Bugler doesn't find Riptar Raptor. You are acting unwisely. I can't target a memorial. Whatever memorial I target, they can sacrifice, and then my spell does res my spell doesn't resolve. My spell fizzles. Certainly going to co have the coil for the find broker. And with our Vivian, we are going to be looking for. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Vivian, we're looking for Daredevil. 
directly Daredevil, because Daredevil can get a plan. Contempt. And Contempt can take out the Vraska. We still have still have two Daredevils in the deck. Ripjaw in the Stompy deck is against Ripjaw's a good card against aggro decks. Like they do different things. Like Vivian you won against control decks. Ripjaw you won against the aggro decks. Balance comes. All right, how, do, how are we doing on mana? One, two, one, two, and then one, two, one, two. Okay, yeah, so let's go. Let's go Daredevil. Find. Find, get back. Uh, Tyrant and Daredevil. And then Daredevil. Contempt. Contempt, Nebraska. Need more daredevils. Well, they're gonna have. They're really walking over here. We got lots of walkers. Last card was Jade Light Ranger that we didn't know about? Obviously it was. Of course it was. Keep that. Keep that. Tilt. Of course it was. So now those are those are even three fives, not even just two fours where like the, the double first strike would be able to catch up. So if we find an Ajani, we can Ajani and put back Daredevil and, and get these Daredevils all back and everything. Um, we have one other Ajani in the deck. Or two other Ajani's in the Meet deck. My newest friend. Alright, we get our own Wild Growth Walker. So we can cast this. Yeah, and, and cast Carnage Tyrant. Okay. We put a Johnny at the bottom with Raska. Or with Vivian, yeah. Oh, yeah, I put one at the. Yeah, the thing is, I've ticked up Vivian enough that we've gone through the. Oh, Chupacabra, that's a good draw step. That's a real good draw step. Um, I've kind of gone through the. I've ticked up enough that I've kind of gone through that we've kind of seen a lot of, a lot of the same deck. All right, we've fought, we've fought through all the Memorial to Follies, so no more Memorial to Follies right now. And they've cast multiple Find Finalities. They're down to 26 cards, I'm at 23. All right, so this will block that, this blocks that, this blocks that. And Vivian takes six. Now we're getting started. Come to me. There's an Ajani. Where's our. If we're gonna get all these lands, where's Arch of Araska? There's an Arch of Araska somewhere in our deck. Somewhere. There's four lands to the bottom. There's another land. 
We have infinite lands and we don't even have the only good land. Arch of Araska. Uh, spam. I've seen things that would break someone like you. There's last of Johnny. Yeah, I may... I may deck. I'm at 18. I need to find last Daredevil, which this tick up should definitely find the other Daredevil. I think, because... Because last, last Daredevil will be able to find back the other Daredevils. Which which can find back other things. I guess. There's Arch. Um, there's only one find, though. No one knows the wilds like I do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen mana. So seven, two, three, four. We could have like find get back to Carnage Tyrant. If I get back a Daredevil, like what's the second Daredevil doing? Not much. Alright, so we get back to Carnage Tyrant. All right, I got a plan. So we're going to go ahead and starve extinction. I don't even know if we need to starve extinction. I guess we only have a wild growth walker left. Huh. All right, I guess we can deal with the wild growth walker. We don't need a star. We're going to go ahead and find, put back two carnage tyrants into our hand. We could have Daredevil Finality. That may not have been that bad. You can't stop nature. Daredevil is MVP. All right, they're at 40. Time to fight back. I know I can de decline to find stuff. I don't I don't think I need to. He goes fine to t just keep taking lands out so we just draw spells. So I could I could coil first. And then, like, the first strike would kill their creature and Daredevil wouldn't die. But if I coil first, they're not blocking. So we're just going to go ahead and coil next. Wow. I've lost the wilds are my I'm at 11 shield. right now. Don't really anticipate this going 10 more turns. If it goes 10 more turns, we're not going to win. So. Yeah, all we had left in our deck was like the one Ixalan's binding, some more coils, a couple planes, some planeswalkers and lands. We were out of creatures. Or yeah, I, maybe one branch walker. Um, 
So they have Vraska Relic Seeker also. And Karn. Certainly going to make it harder for us to binding stuff. So they have Vraska and Karn. Could have Spyglass for Vraska. I don't want to name Vivian with Spyglass, but even Spyglass for... Yeah, I guess Spyglass would basically just name Vraska, because otherwise it'll die. Is that better than just having Binding? The problem with, with Binding is, you know, we Binding Vivian, then Vraska kills the Binding kind of thing. If we Spyglass Vraska, then Vivian kills Spyglass. I'm just playing another Tristani. Or I'm just putting it I'm just putting a, a Tristani back in my deck. I don't think we saw Baby Vraska. I have a lot of Jund and Blue White X at my LGS. Would you recommend Green White Modern for the main deck then? Uh Modern deck for it with main deck Thrun. Um, blue white is a tough matchup for green white, but Thrun certainly helps that. The sweepers are what what's the huge problem with blue white. I think green white's good against Jund, um, but the sweepers that the blue white has is is a problem for green white. So so Thrun helps there if it's if they're playing like. Um, if they're playing like uh, Terminus, though, it doesn't help so much. Uh, yeah, Aurelia do has no kind of ETB effect. People have a lot of life in this matchup, thanks to like Wild Growth Walker and Chupacabra and Vivian make like you know like we play Aurelia they play Chupacabra kill it or they play Vivian kill it and we just got kind of nothing from it and it's not like the it's not like the Vivian's gonna end the game in the air by itself or anything like that so it's just not worth not worth it in this matchup oh, come on uh, I don't know if it's still strong I don't I I'm not very familiar with the modern metagame right now. See I wanna play if our creatures are gonna get Chupacabra, I want them to at least get us something before that. Certainly coil one of these. I think I'm going to. I don't want them to have just a bunch of chupacabras to get back with follies and stuff. Oh gosh. Come on, lands. Well, let's try to hit some lands. It's not a land. Oh, that's not a land either. Uh, deck. I would have blocked before. I'm not sure if it'll matter. <laughs> like, we need to have land here so we can play Vivian, so Vivian can find us another land so we can Carnage Tyrant, but... Yeah, just don't have don't have land. That's really frustrating. Just can't, can't play our stuff. 
Ugh. So yeah, I have 25 lands in the deck, which usually Golgari plays 24. And, you know, with all the explore creatures and 25 lands, it's usually not hard to hit lands, but didn't get there. Did not get there. All right, two and one. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're playing 25 lands and the eight, the eight explore creatures. Usually a value deck um, refers to creatures you refers to a creature deck where the creatures either have an enter the battlefield effect or generate a lot of value over time the longer they stay on the battlefield. Uh, explore is much, much better than adapt for constructed. <laughs> oh, yeah, you could just, just answer. Yeah, just ask us. We'll help you out. So, question is, other than lands, are there any new cards that you really want, like in this deck? Um, I don't know exactly what new cards. I'd say, basically, the answer is yes. Um, I don't know exactly what new cards, though, because standard's going to just change a whole lot with the new cards also. So, what cards need to be in your... Like, what cards are going to be in your mid-range and you know, like your decks that interact with the opponent and stuff, mid-range control decks are going to be changing because standard's changing. What those cards are exactly not 100% sure. Uh, we've seen um, like the, the two green two drops definitely come to mind. The one that adds, adds a lot of mana and the one that's like a squadron hawk. Um, yeah, and and with stomping ground could certainly start playing land war elf, which would really which would help speed the deck up. Um, but you know we can't play eighty cards, so maybe those cards don't make the deck kind of thing. But so we'll have to kind of see. But those are kind of some options. This is one of the toughest matchups for us. Um, Boros with honor guard. It was a really tough matchup for us. Honor Guard, in particular, uh, you know, it's just the kind of card that we can't beat. So, I have a coil for the Honor Guard, so we're pretty fortunate this game that we have a removal spell for it. I'm still leading with this Aurelia. Yeah, Land of War Elf could certainly see play in this deck with Stomping Ground. Yes. Oh, you were hey, it's okay. No, man. Don't It's all it's all good. Yeah, that last game I had I had, you know, just Vraska, you know, I just was stuck on 5 or 4 mana. I couldn't get to the just 5 mana for Vraska or sorry, for Vivian. So Vivian could just hit some more land drops because we had both Carnage Tyrants and Star of Extinction in, in our hand. So, but we just couldn't, you know, we just couldn't play them. Uh, we'll go no blocks. If Aurelia survives here, but yeah, I don't beat Golgari all the time with this deck. Golgari's, Golgari's just a great deck, so. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a real good match, though. Especially that, that game, too, was really sweet. Uh, just so long. Um, yeah, so we're going to have to coil this Honor Guard. How are we? And then what are we doing? Just coil Branch Walker. 
or coil bugler. I think I'm coil bugler. Yeah, I like how I like Bugler getting the the counter from the uh, from Aurelia doing her mentor thing, and like I like the Buglers being three fours against Adanto. Yeah, that was a that was a great match, Ewer. That was a great match. Last game. Ah, opponent has their Aurelia stuff. All right, if they attack, I think I'm, yeah, I'm blocking with this. Right? No, maybe not. We go to nine. So the next turn we have Walker plus Branch Walker where we get to gain a lot of life. Not getting tons of life, I guess. We're just gaining three. What you got, opponent? Please not Lyra Dombringer. I guess maybe I should have not kept Bugler because I need to find Vivian if they have Lyra Dombringer. Yeah, I probably should have not kept Bugler because if they find Dombringer, or if they play Dombringer here, then I'm just kind of dead. Yeah, I'm not I'm not nearly a sold Matthew. I don't think that, that that black angel the black white angel is too good. And I'm not sure if the black removal is better than red removal. Like having I don't know. I could see like maybe a yeah, I don't I don't think black adds a whole lot, honestly. Okay, so we need switching our deck up quite a bit. Whoa, you get out of here. We keep coming back in. All right, a Johnny for the most part coming out. Daredevil's out completely. Um, Bugler's out. So I'm bringing in Clarion because of how good Clarion is against. Or because it kills Takali Honor Guard. I mean, because we need to just kill Takali Honor Guard, and that does that. And then bring in all the bindings for their angels, our extra Vivian for their angels. Yeah, Angel of Grace. Angel of Grace is very good. Angel of Grace is really good. Man, I really hope our opponent does not have Takali Honor Guard. Really hope they don't, Hawkeye. Because if they do, this will be pretty sad. Hmm. Hmm. 
think it may be more important to play branch walker here okay well we got the land because worst case scenario i play wild growth walker i don't draw a land i play branch walker i don't draw a land and i don't hit a third land drop i think it's important to get that third land drop so i'm just going with um yeah just kind of skipping over the wild growth walker there for a turn but now that we have now i'll go ahead and play the wild growth walker um now that we got that uh, that third land drop and then next turn we can still have jade light i don't really mind this resplendent angel hitting me for a bit uh as far as i know play ravnica is active as a arena code still and from what i've heard play allegiance will start working on like the 17th uh in the afternoon to get you packs on arena with allegiance with ravnica allegiance well that worked out very well for us we wanted we wanted all these lands for sure you're going seal away could have seal away Could certainly have seal away. Debating if that's an issue at all. Don't think that's much of an issue. Uh, the colorless Aldrazi deck. I don't think it's consistently. I don't think it's consistent enough for. Um, for my liking. Play this Vivian. Thank you. Let's see if you're worthy. I think it's feel the yeah, wrath one, of Scala. It's one word with P and R capitalized. Can heal. I should have coiled last turn. I think that was a better play for me next last turn. The Dawnbringer could stay out there for a turn. I think that was a better play for me last turn, just to coil. Yeah, I regret having Vivian just kill the Dawnbringer. I think I should have just coiled. Have I listened to any of Muse's new album? I didn't lift I have not. to lose to you. Uh, I'm certainly not using Clarion here. That can't help you now. They could draw Takali Honor Guard. This is just not even a good spot to be Clarioning. They just keep their Vanguard alive. I'm just playing Vivian, killing their Angel, and keeping these things back to block Vanguard. I could attack with the Branch Walker there. Yeah, I think I probably should attack with the Branch Walker. But yeah, we didn't need to use the Clarion yet. But yeah, I should have attacked with the Branch Walker. Now this has gotten better for us. Yeah, Clarion kills your own stuff too. Yep.
I've seen yes, things exiling like someone like you. Uh, yes, exiling Walker does remove its counters. Yeah. The water is fine. All right, and Aurelia does not die to Clarion. So I'll wait one turn, and I'll Clarion next turn now that this other knight is out here. Honestly, I may not even need to Clarion. That's probably a good idea too, though. Our opponent's probably a little confused why we didn't play the Knight of Autumn. They know about the Knight of Autumn in hand. Of course, I don't want to with... with uh, Deafening Clarion. So Aurelia is blocking the 2-2 because if it takes two damage from the Knight, if they have Justice Strike, they cannot kill Aurelia still. Ah, dead coil. All right, all right. Oh yeah, you have definitely got to get got to get that life link in there, which we would have got if if Aurelia would have stayed stayed alive. You can't stop nature. All right, this game certainly looking really good for us. All right, we are three and one. All right, three and one. Vivian is so good. So good. Okay, um, this looks like a, a pretty good hand. Glad we're going first. Um, the problem with Daredevil is Daredevil is not necessarily just a, um, it's not necessarily like a, a card we want to play on turn two, which, you know, with like this kind of hand we wanted, we kind of wanted out early, you know, we want our two drop out there. And certainly not against Mountain against basic mountain because if they're playing spells to kill their things we're gonna want to save daredevil when the momir madness ends um i don't but it should be on their their schedule All right, so <clears throat> next turn, do we want a Johnny or Beast Whisperer? Maybe neither. Maybe we just Coil Discovery. Or sorry, Daredevil Discovery. Yeah, I think I'm Daredevil Discovering. These cards are good. I like both of those cards. Let's take the Vivian. Mo Mirror into Rekindling, Rekindling Phoenix and Lyra Dombringer. I heard like, like if you get Demon Lord Belson lock in Mo Mirror, don't you just die? Because it just mills your entire, I think it just mills your entire deck, right? And then you die. I think that's how that works. 
All right, good. I'm really glad they they use shock to kill Daredevil, and not. Really glad they use shock to kill to kill Daredevil, and not. Um, Every fight makes me stronger. And not a lava coil, because I want it in the graveyard, so I can have a Johnny get <laughs> bring it back. Get that out of here. I uh, don't know when the next banning announcement is. I don't expect anything to be banned. No, I can't find the time for when Ravnica Allegiance will go live, like at all. Come to me. Can't find that info at all. Hmm. All right, and Beast Whisper is a pretty juicy target for for a Lava Coil from them. So you're going to just... I wouldn't mind them, like, playing Coil and then playing, like, another Drake kind of thing. Like, Drake plus Coil to, to kind of tap out. And then I get to a Johnny minus, bring back Daredevil and Coil their Drake. Hopefully. Yeah, link to the deck list. Yeah, exclamation point deck list always gets you the the deck right there. Um, it is also, exclamation point you, decks gets you to my stream decker page where you can find all my I decks. Still need you. you can find all the decks on there. Can you pay coin or gems on Arena for Allegiance pre-release? There won't be. No one knows the wilds like I do. I probably should just minus. Yeah, I probably should just minus, and just kill my Vivian. There's not like necessarily a set pre-release event on Arena um, on the 17th. They're gonna just have sealed, uh, which will be gems. Um, be, you know, it's like their normal sealed events. Uh, they'll have sealed for. Ravnica Allegiance. Yeah, I should just minus. I'm a survivor. Um, I want to shock this thing. Like Daredevil attack and shock. One man away from. Hmm. All right, so this kills my Johnny. I will not be moved. There's more work to do. But they're down to one card. We kind of still have everything. How this thing go? No one said restoration was painless. Well then, that's a problem. Meet my newest friend. Well, that's a big old problem right there. Kind of wasted, wasted all my ammo on those drakes. Best deck in standard is Golgari. Uh, modern, I don't know. Dispersal? Dispersal just doesn't work. Yeah, that's a huge problem for me. Yeah, dispersal is just not doesn't work against Niv, is it? I'm not losing everything again. Ha! 
Oh, so it's going to be like that, huh? Hmm. Because they'll just play Niv-Mizzet again the following turn and draw an extra card. Did I take up Vivian? I should have ticked up first before exploring. Yeah. The wilds are my shield. We haven't lost the game yet. But we're pretty close. But Wild Growth Walker is now kind of getting there for us. We were close, but then hitting another Jade Light. All right, we get to, get to pump up this Jade Light, so we can attack him for 18 here. Yeah, we, we're in a good spot now, because these Wild Growth Walkers. All right, so they're taking 12, going down to 8. We may just dispersal next turn, uh, just to get the Niv off the battlefield to attack in. Alright. Wild Growth Walker, way to go. Binding, binding, binding. We saw how good Daredevil was that game, though. Daredevil with, like, Discovery and then Shock, and and we coiled. We had a, like, Daredevil's really good in this matchup. Let's get extra Vivian in here. Um, don't think I want Spyglass. So when a Johnny comes out, and I'm going to take the Beast Whispers out, and then one more card, one more card, one more card. Other Johnny. All right. Yeah, Daredevil is basically Chupacabra. Yep. Like, <clears throat> a couple of them were Chupacabras, but then another one was also, was like, you know, Branch Walker, basically. Or, or Jade Light. Oh, gosh. Are we going to hit lands? Because, like, Daredevil is basically a four-mana spell. So we're on the draw with, like, three, four, four, five... That's not great. Yeah, this is not great. I don't love Bugler here. Uh, I'm not going to mulligan it. We'll just keep it. We're up a game. Alright, that's a good card. Now let's draw some lands. Oh yeah, uh, Siege Gang is probably really good there for that slot also. I was trying out Beast Whisperer here. I haven't been super impressed with it. Spyglass does nothing against Niv-Mizzet. Um, they likely have, they certainly have Search for Scant in their deck. They likely have Rao as a Vice, Viceroy in their deck also. So Spyglass could shut down Azkant to the Sunken Ruin or Rao as a Viceroy or Treasure Map. We found our lands. No, they just have they just have a black source for the other part of discovery. They're not like playing black cards. They just have like a black source in their deck.
Looks like they may have a shock. Alright, here comes Aurelia. Yeah, I think playing Aurelia is better than going Daredevil Coil. Yeah, maybe you just maybe you just got a little unfortunate. I think that the Drake's matchup's really good for our deck. I like it quite a bit. So they still do have dive down potential here. They have to use a treasure, of course. Um, it's better to play Vivian. Hey, Dying Slowly, thanks for subbing there. Thank you so much. Which decks do you think will probably run Direfleet Daredevil? Um, we'll have to, we'll have to see, like, here with our next set. Um, it is very good against like a red card that's good against other red decks. Um, if there's a lot of Rakdos decks, you'd think that there would probably be a decent amount of Daredevil in. Uh, what do I want to do? Wild animals I like. People, not so. So really, I can still block for my Vivian also if we decide to. Now we'll have Daredevil Coil. Hmm. Beacon Bolt's an annoying card in the fact that I'm, I don't have like a good Scars way to use are it. Lessons written in skin. That was a great Really great turn for our opponent, obviously, how we have nothing left on the battlefield. They only do have one more treasure, though, for an extra card. Alright, so they got the four cards plus the bacon bolt. Uh oh. That one's gonna be tough to beat. No no Naya Legends today. Yeah, this is the last league of the day. So even though our opponent's going to use their Bacon Bolt to kill the Wild Growth Walker or, or something, they'll find something to kill Wild Growth Walker because of Jade Light. I think Jade Light's still a better card to kind of have overall than Bugler, I think, for us here. <laughs> yep, Bacon Bolt. How? Yeah, they got a, got a coil. Oh, 
All right, we're just kind of pressuring our opponent. I have not, Black Knight. Yeah, I think this is better than a random card. So, how are we doing on Daredevils? So we've seen one Daredevil so far. So that deals two damage. They kill one lifelink thing. Doesn't that just still kill them? So they block the four, three. They take three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. We have lethal here. Yep. And there we go. Got the win. Four and one. Final boss time. Final boss time. We got we got two packs. Let's crack one open before final boss. For good luck. And then hopefully we win. And we get and we'll crack open the other one. Alright, camaraderie. That's what we needed. We need some camaraderie here. For the final boss. Let's see if we can take down the final boss. It's rare to see somebody play Niv and then concede, right? Yeah, it is pretty rare. And Young, hey, good game. Yeah, no, I, I do think that matchup's very good for me. Um, Dire Philly Daredevil is a big part of it. How I get to have like my own coils and then steal your coils kind of thing. And I have all the Vivians and stuff. I do think that's a tough matchup for you. There. But yeah, good game. Good game. Uh, I was certainly pretty scared the first game when you had the Niv Mizzet and I wasted like all of my resources on the Enigma Drake, so then you had Niv Mizzet. I was certainly pretty scared there, but I was fortunate to find a lot of explore things for those Wild Growth Walkers. Oh yeah. Yeah, that that I was happy with the one block with the Enigma Drake. Um if you didn't block, if you didn't block, I still had, you know, I had like another daredevil in hand that I, I guess I would have just like played the other daredevil and then like also like a wild growth walker and ticked up on a Johnny or something. I wouldn't have played the Vivian there. Um, but then you would have had like niv at the next turn and then I maybe still had my Vivian to kill it. Who knows? But yeah. But yeah, cool. Thanks. Uh, yeah, good games, and I'm yeah, glad, glad you like the deck. All right, Bugle Boy, find a Jade Light Ranger. All right, Branch Walker has to do. We had Clifftop Retreat on top. That's certainly a card I would like, really like to draw here. Hmm. I imagine this is counterspell time, not counterspell. Okay. I thought that was just gonna be counterspell, which is why I didn't play a Johnny into said counterspell. I just not play a Johnny? It seems kind of silly to just not play a Johnny. It resolved. I am proud to fight by your side. He didn't see a Johnny before? Okay. We drew a Johnny right after their uh, Thought Erasure. Fight again. And so I like getting Branch Walker in play for a couple of reasons. Um, 
of course, not only is it another threat on the battlefield, which is good. Um, yeah, this is getting pretty laggy here, but it's, it's the last match of the night's final boss, so... Didn't really do a client reset. Um, so not only do we get another threat on the battlefield, another body, but it helps towards Arch of Araska. Um, and I think that's pretty important for us. I, I really want to get this, uh... Really want to get the uh, ascend and get the city's blessing. Oh boy, just gonna be one big wild growth walker. Now we have ascended. Huh? They don't want to just kill the branch walker. All right. Hopefully, no ritual of soot. Keeping Daredevil to be able to go Daredevil. Yeah, now we can just Daredevil Contempt. Would have been able to have Daredevil Thought Erasure, but now we got Daredevil Contempt. GG. Alright, Binding, 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 Vivian. Um... I don't know. It really can come on out here. I don't know if we really need. They were Grixis, right? They weren't just blue black, right? They were Grixis. So like they they're gonna have Nicol Bolas, kind of thing. Basically, what I'm saying, what I was gonna say is, I don't know really know if we really need Carnage Tyrant. Honestly, I don't think we need Carnage Tyrant. Carnage Time would come in the Beast Whisperer slot. I don't think we really need it. It's really expensive. That's six mana. So it's kind of easily gets discarded and stuff. Nah, Spyglass is not is not a good card against Nicol Bolas. Because the all Spyglass all Spyglass does against Nicol Bolas is prevent it from transforming, but the 4-4 creature can just kill you just the same. So like they play Nicol Bolas. They make you discard a card, and then you also use a card just to not have Nicol Bolas flip. So you're already down two cards, and they still have a 4-4 flying creature in play. It's just not a good it's not a good card to have for you. Yeah, Thieves of Sanity is certainly an option. I'm uh, keeping two Lava Coils in for Thief of Sanity and for Nicol Bolas instead of playing Carnage Tyrant. Yeah, Knight of Autumn's really not so bad here. You know, like, I have all the Vivians that can do that. But, yeah, you're right. Search for Escanta, Disinformation Campaign, Eldest Reborn. Uh, some people play Treasure Map. There's there's a good amount of options for Knight of Autumn. I hate seeing that Field of Ruin. I should have played Arch of Araska here. I really should have played Arch of Araska there. <clears throat> I want them to Field of Ruin the Arch of Araska. Not the, not the uh, White Source, because I don't have any basic I don't have any white basics. Any planes. I think I, I do need to get the white sources down, though, in case we draw a Johnny. So if they have another disinformation campaign, then I suppose... Arch of Arasa's gone? No, I, I probably just... No, yeah, I just, I just discard Daredevil and play Vivian. And of course I could minus to kill disinformation campaign, but I think just filling my hand up is is probably better, saving a minus for something else. Like um Let's 
like a Doom Whisperer. Come to me. They don't have a Thought Erasure over here, right? Nah. Hey, Dash Assault. Alright, we're looking good to defeat the final boss. We have to deal with this Vivian and all the stuff that we have on the battlefield. That'll be tough. Alright, all the stuff on the battlefield dealt with. Just gonna bind in these campaigns. No more campaign for you. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Yeah, so now they have to have Contempt. Alright, no Contempt. I'm a survivor. Nature brings your reckoning. Well, Let's see. Yeah, I thought about it. Like they, they still have like some removal spells. Like, they still have con contempt for my creatures and stuff like that. If they would have countered the Militia Bugler, I would have felt a little worse. Hey, Chris. Weekend pretty good. Bennett, just a... a very slightly under the weather, like just a tad. But took yesterday off from streaming. We're back at it. I don't think our opponent knows how indestructible works. Or I guess they're just probably just trying to save the most damage, actually. Which, it still wouldn't be that. It'd still be blocking the Wild Growth Walker. Hmm. I think we're about to defeat the final boss. Thanks to Vivian. Yeah, opponent's trying. They're trying. But yeah, they've been using their mana on other things. <clears throat> Not the field of ruin so far. I think we got this, Hawkeye. Now, my creatures are indestructible. They can't... They can't kill my creatures. They're going to exile creatures if they have contempt. Contempt is the only thing. But if they contempt Bugler, they could just keep blocking Bolas. Looks like they're going to get Tristani. That's my guess. <laughs> it's always Tristani. Nothing to me. 
Uh, that was 21 pilots holding on to you. It is good to see you, my friend. Y'all ready for something cool? Return to the fight. Let's get Ritual of Soot. No, I wanted Ritual of Soot away your creatures. No, I was gonna Ritual of Soot. Oh, I was gonna Ritual of Soot my opponent. Uh, opponent, why you concede like that? You didn't concede that whole time. Okay, we did it. We did it, high five. Okay, high five. High five, yeah. All right, 5-1 with Naya Value. Final boss defeated. Let's claim our prize. We get 2,100 gold and three rares. What do we got? We got Goreclaw. Arcane Adaptation. Nah, Beast Whisperer wasn't very good. And Amara. Yeah, so I think I think the Beast Whispers, the Beast Whispers weren't, weren't too good. I think they should just be. Um, I think we should just have third Aurelia, third Tristani. There we go. That's better. Yeah. All right, we got. Uh, let's go and save and exit. We got a pack to open to celebrate getting uh, the final boss defeated. An Assassin's Trophy. Hey, there we go. That was, you know, one of like the, the most highly sought after cards whenever Guilds of Ravnica came out. No, Dire Fleet's main, main deck. There are three Dire Fleets in the main deck. Yeah, that, that card's very good. That's a main deck card. That card's pretty great. If you if you were watching this on YouTube, of course, please hit the subscribe button. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.